Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden. And I just wanted to update you on the Grow With Me series and show you what's going on. It's been a, basically a week since our last update and there's been a lot of change. If we look on our left side over here, this is basically all of the spinach that didn't germinate. And as, I, as you remember I mentioned, I'm gonna replace it with Swiss chard. And all of it has germinated, looking very good. And as you see, some of it are as red and yellow. Some of it is just two red, two red Swiss shards, and the other ones are red and yellow, I think, again, or possibly red and green. And the nice thing about Swiss shard is when it gets older, the root system actually takes on the color of the plant. Like you can see, this is a yellow root right there because there's a yellow Swiss shard. And the red one will come out a little later. That hasn't sprouted yet from the bottom so that's looking very good and what we what we germinated together is looking very good even though I want the replacement that we put in so if you look at basically the kale the kale is looking very good some of it's looking bigger than others that's always going to be the case with planting there's always going to be one plant that's dominating out of your entire growth so as you see here the lettuce this one looks like it's the biggest one, the arugula and the kale. But nonetheless, they're all growing quite well. And at this stage of, of growth, this is when I basically come in, being that it's been a week of quarter sh of sorry half strength that the plants were taken up. Now it's time to give it full strength, which is basically going to be our vegetative stage for nutrients. And we're going to give it two grams of master blend 41838, two grams of calcium nitrate, and one gram of Epsom salt. So when we put that in there, we're gonna give it a nice mix for one gallon of water. So you wanna put in that ratio per gallon. And we're gonna come in and replace all of these containers here later today, except the ones on the left because these are still in the early stage of growth. They haven't even put on their first sets of leaves, so the only thing these three have are water. And some of you might be noticing some white spots on the cocoa core. This is basically a tiny bit of mold that formed because the moisture levels were very high. And once it dries up, it will completely go away and it's completely harmless to you. And as well as the plants, it doesn't do any damage to them at all. As you see right here, it ha it, this was completely surrounded around this one. And once it dries up in a couple days, it goes away. So nothing to fear. So if you see that on your cocoa core, that's perfectly fine. But if it is like a nice fuzzy material that actually is lifted up and elevated, looking like a nice little, like a foam or a little cloud, that's, uh, that's probably a really bad mold and you want to take care of that immediately. But for now, these plants are doing very well. Let's take a look at the root system. Uh, this is right here, basically Lola Rosa. And we got some nice, nice roots on that. It looks like some are bigger than the others. And the arugula is looking very good. Look at that, look, look. Oh wow, look at all the roots that's actually poking out all along the sides, as well as going down the bottom. I love being able to see the roots when I'm growing food hydroponically. That's one big benefit of growing hydroponically. You're able to see what's going on down below, which is just as important as what's going on up top. And let's take a look at the kale. This kale is looking really good, I think. This, at this stage of growth, this is actually a really good time to come in and harvest some kale. When kale is, when you eat it young, it's very delicious and it's not as, as bitter. As kale get, gets older, the leaves tend to get a tiny bit more bitter, but I really enjoy my leafy greens, so I definitely don't mind. And at this point, being that the plants all have put on their first sets of true leaves, already they have already their second set. As I mentioned, time for the nutrients. And being that some of these plants didn't have basically the root system come down yet, what I've been doing basically is coming in 
at when the cocoa core dries up, I've been using this little dropper and I just come in and just pour water basically right on top, right around, just to keep it moist and from drying up. This way you want you keep the seedlings alive until the root system grows down to the bottom like this one did. So for now I'm going to keep monitoring these and once, as always, like our other episode from our last post, when these have their first sets of leaves, I'm going to give it half strength for one week and in full strength like these had. But for now, I couldn't be more pleased and I hope you guys that are growing with me have the same s stage of growth, if not bigger at this point. And if you wanted right now, you could even come in and give yourself a tiny little, little small salad, take a little bit of the lettuce, some of the arugula and the kale. And once you eat, once you harvest that, you leave this a little bit of the center and that will regrow. So you, you'll eat that, put that in the back while these two continue to grow and get bigger. And then you could eat one of these two and then move that to the back. And that's basically what you call succession planting which is what I'm going to be doing with these plants when they get a tiny bit older. But for now, I'm just going to keep monitoring its growth. I'm going to change the nutrients tonight for 9 out of 12. For these 9 here. I'm going to give it full strength, like I mentioned. And this one I'm going to give quarter strength once it puts on first sets of true leaves. I'm sorry, I mean half strength actually. But for now, it's doing quite well. And um, I left the uh, jars unpainted because this is a little bit of an experiment. And for now, I'm going to keep it uncovered and it looks like it's doing quite well. There's absolutely zero algae growth. But being that it's only been one week, that's not surprising. And once I actually come in and give this thing full strength later tonight, I might actually cover all these jars up and keep it out of the sun being that that's going to be its nutrients for its entire growth of its life basically. So to prevent algae growth is that probably a very good idea and if you could do it, I think you should definitely do it. So for now that's basically the update that I have and as always don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and share with a friend. Thanks for watching.